Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us discuss about a basic example of abstract class. So if you don't know what an abstract class is, you can go back to my previous video in this tutorial series. I'll keep the link in the description of this video. Here I have created a simple console application. So to demonstrate the abstract class first i'm going to add new item and i'll choose class over here and here here i'm naming my class as abstract food so i want to make this as an abstract class so I don't know what food I am making here, but whatever the food I make that has to be served. So I want to implement the serve method over here. So I am writing serve food method over here and here I am writing console.writeLine food have being served on the table so i have written the method like this but at the point of writing this class i don't know how we are going to prepare the food so i am writing an abstract method sorry it's abstract void void prepare food so here i know the partial functionality of serving the food it is common for all the food after preparation of the food we will definitely serve the food to the people so that is the common functionality i put that in the base base class but i don't know what food i am serving and what is the preparation process i want to delegate this part to the child class so here I want to add one more class and I am naming this as Maggie, Maggie Noodles. So I am adding this class and I want to make this class as public and I want to implement this abstract code. So after I inherit the Maggie Noodles class from abstract food here it shows you an error because if you implement any abstract class on your class you must have to provide the implementation for the abstract method. So here we have the abstract method prepare food. So this class must implement that particular method otherwise it can keep this as abstract and we have to make this class as abstract and also it must have override keyword so but i know the implementation of this prepared food for the maggie so i'm just using and i removed the abstract keyword and i'm implementing the maggie noodles over here so i can simply press control and dot over here or also i can use this and i can click on the implement of that class so it will create a method for us so here i'm writing console dot write line boiling water console dot write line kept noodle in water 
Turn that right line. Break the nodal. And finally, I can say like here, yeah, added masala and prepared noodles. Okay. And I want to change this base class method. So before serving the food, we have to prepare food. So as this class is having the signature of the prepare food method, I can call over here in the runtime. It will be called based on the class on which this is implemented. So here I have created a Maggie noodles class and inherit abstract food method and implemented the prepare food method and here i am adding one more class and i am naming my class as corn flakes breakfast and here also i am making this as public and i am implementing the abstract food class over here and here the process is different so here i am writing console.write line boiling the milk added sugar added corn flakes breakfast is prepared so here if we see this is the base class and this is the common functionality for both the classes maggie noodles and corn flakes breakfast but the, the difference here is the way that we prepare the food. So at the time of writing this class, we know it's partial implementation only. Like we know how to serve the food, but we don't know how to prepare the food. This prepare food should be delegated to the child classes. So the responsibility of implementing the prepare food is related to the child classes. So here if you see the Maggie noodles preparation process is different and here conflicts breakfast preparation process is different. So the common functionality we have kept here and we made this method as an abstract. Here we are enforcing a rule that if any class is going to implement this class, that class must provide implementation for this method because we are using that method over here but of course irrespective of using that method in this method or not if we declare a method over here as an object that should be implemented by the child classes let us go back to the main method so here i am writing abstract food so here i am writing this as maggie new maggie noodles so i can write this like this because in c sharp the base class can reference the child objects but if i write like this it will give an error because you cannot create an object for an abstract class the reason is the abstract class is not a complete class we don't know what is the implementation of this if we create an object for this class so we can reference the child classes using abstract classes but we cannot create a class for abstract class so we can write something like serve food over here and after that we can create one more abstract food and here we can write conflict is equal to new 
corn flakes breakfast and we can write corn flakes dot serve food. So if I run this example, so first it prepared the Maggie and food have been served on the table and after that it prepared cornflakes and the food have been served on the table. So this is the concept of object class when we want to implement a class partially and delegate the responsibility of implementing some methods to the child class we can use an object class. One more thing is we can't make an object class as a private because it is supposed to be implemented by the child classes. If you keep this as private, it will not be accessible to the child classes and this is not a valid case. So generally in most of the interviews when I ask the people, they say abstract class is needed for the inheritance. That is not the correct answer because you can do the inheritance with the normal classes also. The correct answer is the partial implementation of a class. If you know the partial implementation of a class, we can go for abstract classes. And in the next video, I'm going to show you a real-time scenario. Thank you.